Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in today's video, we are looking at EcoFlow's brand new product. Now this thing is the flagship. People always complain because they say the battery systems just do not put out enough power. This system might actually change that. This is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X. Now the old one was just called the Delta Pro Ultra, I've actually shown you guys that in a lot of my videos. That is the system that runs my house during power outages. For the first time in history, EcoFlow has produced now a single device that can output 12,000 watts of electricity continuously. That makes this model more powerful than pretty much any gas generator you can buy, but that also means you're gonna need a 50 amp circuit. So if your current setup only uses a 30 amp, maybe you had it based on the older, smaller systems, that could potentially be something you would need to upgrade. But for a lot of people, getting that amount of wattage is a huge deal. The other big difference is capacity. On just a single stack on the old system, you could have five batteries that gave you about 30 kilowatt hours, which is a fantastic amount, but for some people, especially if you're off grid or you just wanna be able to run for a much longer time, that's just not enough. And on the old system, if you wanted more batteries, you couldn't really connect them together without using their smart panel. The new X handles that differently. Because this thing is already outputting 12,000 watts of juice, you can daisy chain a second group of just batteries to this, giving you 10 batteries in total. That means off of just a single head unit, you can actually get 60 kilowatt hours of storage. Now with a claim like 12,000 watts, I really wanted to see this thing work, but I wanted to test it with an appliance that really grabs power, it goes up and down. So to test that out, I'm gonna do a little bit of welding using a 240 volt welder at its maximum setting. And this thing actually requires 50 amps. And this isn't a how-to on welding, so I'm just gonna do some basic stuff and we'll see what it can do. And if the machine has any interruptions whatsoever, and this square tubing is not from Ikea. This stuff is a quarter inch thick, which means in the welding world, you need a lot of power to make an effective penetration. As I'm welding, I don't really see any changes. In fact, at this point, the welder is acting completely normally. The welder alone only uses about 60 watts until you engage it. At that point, you're gonna be using as much as 5,000 watts of power. I didn't see any problems with the welder whatsoever. In fact, this thing is acting exactly like it's plugged into my wall outlet but I still wasn't getting even close to that 12,000 watt. So to mix it up even further, I'm gonna pull up my old reliable. This is a 240 volt heater that draws 6,000 watts when it's running. I'm going to plug the heater into the 30 amp outlet and the welder will be plugged into the 50 amp outlet. I'll set the thermostat to the max and we'll turn the heater on. Immediately the heater is drawing about 5,600 watts and now I'll go ahead and do some more welding and we'll see how far we can get this thing to go. And this will closely simulate what you've got in your house. If you're turning on your electric dryer, somebody else is turning on an air conditioner, there can be all sorts of different loads that are constantly off and on. And that kind of surging up and down is really what could cause an inverter problems or potentially damage some electronics. The unit didn't overheat. I could barely even hear the fan running. The noise that you're hearing in the video is actually the welder's fan running. So I'm really pleased with the test output. I did not have any issues whatsoever. In fact, I completed the welding. I have my goofy little project here and everything worked fine. But now let's talk about their brand new smart panel. Now here's the other part that is totally nuts. If you get the smart panel in your house, you can now combine three of these together. Now, of course, you might need to take a second mortgage to buy all that stuff. 36,000 watts of AC output, and you can triple the amount of storage that would literally bring you to about 180 kilowatt hours of storage. Now, currently I don't have that installed, so I can only give you the specs about it. First off, if you wanna buy one, you don't necessarily have to go find your own electrician. Now you could do that if you want, but instead EcoFlow has a deal going where they've got electricians around the US and different locations that can do the install for you. And in some situations, that means you can actually get one of those panels installed in your house in as little as seven days. Another big change with this thing is the solar input. The new amount of solar input you can have on just a single unit is now 10,000 watts of solar. And if you use this smart home panel, you can actually triple that by combining three of these together. You actually get three amounts of both the output and the input, of course, as well as the battery storage. Another change they made to the solar is how you connect it. It's still got those MC4 connectors, which is a good thing, but they've no longer included the solar disconnect inside the main unit. Now with this one, it's external, so that wearable part at least can be replaced pretty easily if it would fail you down the road. To get at them, you need to remove this panel and now you can plug your MC4s in. But they're pretty smart because getting those off can be a pain with the clips. So they've also included this little door and a tool in the box that allows you to easily disconnect these things if you need to take them off. Now some things on the outside have changed. They actually got rid of some of the ports, which usually isn't a good thing, but I don't know if on this Ultra it really matters. They did eliminate the USB ports and they also reduced the number of AC outlets. 
Other external changes include the display and the LEDs. Now, in the original one, you actually had a great display. It's super easy to read, but this one they've now improved by making it a full color display, and they've also got this LED status bar across the unit. Now, the unit still has the same type of AC outlets, with the exception that this new one also includes this brand new 50 amp outlet, which is going to be required if you're going to use the full 12,000 watts. And for some installations, you do need to actually ground this thing like you would a generator. So there is a ground screw hidden away here on the side, and that's something your electrician can tell you if you need it for your own house. So other key features have not changed. The old one and this model can still both be effective UPSs. And if you combine this with the smart home panel, not only will it switch that individual load, you can actually have it manage your own house. So even if you're not home, it's gonna automatically do the transfer for you and you won't even know that the power went out. It is by far the most powerful and most expandable, not only just in the EcoFlow line, but I don't know any other portable output unit like this that can get even close to those specs. So far, I am really impressed by this thing, and I really, truly love that original Ultra, and I've just depended on it for so many months, through so many storms, I can really tell you the thing works. And I hope that this thing is just going to be more powerful, but be just as reliable as that first one has been for me. So the big question is, should you actually buy one of these? Well, if you're a current owner of the Delta Pro Ultra like I am, that's going to really be a question in terms of output, storage, and solar input. If you're satisfied with what you currently have, then there really isn't much of a need to upgrade. But if one of those three items is a key need for you and you want to make a change, it may just be beyond what the Ultra can do. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.